keep a plan bingo that's Ew, I don't think you should keep playing with me though, because every time I squeeze the damn three foe, that's the Reaper playing bingo? Is that what he said? Ew, what the fuck? That's dope. That's not even supposed to rhyme, sir. What's going on, guys? Andrew here with yet again another natural reaction. What the hell's going on, party people? It is good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a little bit since I put out a Royce to 5-9 from the Allegory song, so here it is today. I'm not putting it out, it's just a reaction actually, but today we're going to look at a black man's favorite shoe, an Upside Down featuring Ashley Sorrell and Benny the Butcher, which is exciting. We know Benny's from Griselda, which I've also been checking out and getting into. I got other reaction videos. By the way, if you're new here, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. I got daily content for you. And uh, you can also follow me at The Real Natural Reaction on Instagram. Anyways, let's just get right into it. I'm excited. Still going through the allegory. Like I said, I haven't gotten too many comments or things on this, but I just love Mr. Royce to 5'9". The dude's got bars, and he's clearly trying to teach us something about money and... Uh, that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's just get right into it. This is a quick little skit that I still haven't heard yet. Black man's favorite shoe. Howdy. I'm, and I hate black people. They're the worst. They're stinky and they just suck. They're just bad people. If you notice. Um, already this is bullshit. Whatever, whoever this is talking and saying that, I don't, I don't agree with that and that's bullshit, whatever he's saying. It sounds like a racist piece of shit. Over there is a box of Jordans. Of course, Jordans. The favorite pair of shoes for a black man. I'm gonna show you what I think of a black man. Fuck. All niggas. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure what lesson is supposed to be learned from that, but fuck that racist guy. Um pretty much knew he was going to bring like Jordans into it, but Jordans are dope. Michael Jordan's the best freaking basketball player of all time, so... And yeah, I just went there and said that. Fight me about it. Michael Jordan definitely is the best. I don't want to hear none of that LeBron crap. No, I'm just kidding. He's pretty good too, but seriously, fight me about it. Don't actually fight me, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not really sure what that was about, but that dude sounded like a racist piece of shit, and I definitely don't feel that way, so sorry about that. Um, let me know if you know what kind of message he was trying to get across with that one. Anyways, let's get into Upside Down. Uh, I think I talked to somebody in the comments uh, like a week or two ago about this. I think I said I watched another behind the scenes of a video, but this was the video I kind of saw a little, little thing on Instagram or something. They had a little behind the scenes of this song, so that's exciting. Ashley Sorrell, I feel like she was in another song too, right? Um, unless this was the song that I already did, it could have been, but I don't think so. Either way, Let's check it out. I haven't seen the video, so yeah. From the allegory, if you guys are following along, let's do this. Yeah. Um, that song does sound familiar to me, but like I said, I think I think I just watched like the behind the scenes. There was a quick video which I think I heard Benny the Butcher talking, which is the original reason why I got into, why I wanted to hear more about like what Griselda was up to or whatever, but yeah. And I know the director of this said it was a, kind of like a church video, but it wasn't your typical church video that you're used to seeing, but anyway, yeah. So we got Mr. Pastor Man, we got Royce to 5'9", and Benny chilling. Let's see what's up with this. She had a pretty cool voice. It's pretty unique, right? I like that. Her voice sounds good. Um, I never heard of this person before this record. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same song or she was on another song, but um, maybe we'll be hearing more from her. She sounds, uh, she's got a cool voice. It's pretty unique. I like it. Talk from your computer. 
you got beef, do you stand or run or talk from your computer? <laughs> you hiding behind them keys or you actually, you reel out in the streets doing some shit about it. Nice. I like that. Let me see if there's some, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to get some captions on here and I'm going to try to catch some of these bars and words. Sounds like awesome. Oh, Apparently, uh, the subtitles don't even work, so that's cool. Good thing. Good thing they're on there then, right? Oh, you. Which one are you? Which one are you? You a real one or a fake one? Yeah. What? Man, hold on. Before he gets into it, I just gotta say again, I'm loving the whole feel of the allegory. It reminds me of like some dope ass, like like you know, like '90s hip hop or something. I'm pretty sure. Royce is uh, producing a lot of this shit, or maybe all of it, I don't know, but it's pretty dope. I love like the general like tone and feel of all the tracks too, but let's get these bars. Let me go back just a touch here. Hold on, hold on. Why the gay niggas trying to fuck the straight niggas that's trying to fuck the gay bitches that look just like the straight niggas? Damn. Why the straight niggas that the gay bitches trying to look just like, trying to look just like the gay niggas Damn. I must look just like the grave niggas? <laughs> Uh, I'm so, he's got balls for saying that stuff, but I mean, I guess I kind of agree. Like, it's just a little confusing, right? A little confusing with all that. With I can't, I just can't keep the stuff straight anymore with how, like, what is politically correct to say about that or, like, how you feel. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, like, mad at people, you know? Like, do whatever you got to do with that stuff. But it is just, like, confusing and hard to keep straight, I guess. And maybe from that, it's, like, Kind of what he's trying to say. That's what I'm getting out of it. Look just like the straight niggas. Why the straight niggas that the gay bitches trying to look just like, trying to look just like the gay niggas. I must look just like the grave diggers. You think you the people's champ because people playing your single. But I don't think that you should keep playing with me though. Because every time I squeeze it down threefold, that's the Reaper playing bingo. That's Ew, I don't think you should keep playing with me though. Because every time I squeeze the damn threefold, that's the Reaper playing bingo? Is that what he said? Ew, what the fuck? That's dope. That's not even supposed to rhyme, sir. That's not even supposed to rhyme, but it it's does. A kilogram wrapped up on a Peter Pan. Probably doesn't sound as cool when I say it. And Prevost, whoever think I'm here to make some corny ass radio Viacom jangle. Got my old diatribe jangle sitting high above. Ew. I just love how real this dude is, too. Whoever thinks I'm, just, I'm gonna be making some corny ass Viacom like jingle. Ew. He, that, that's dope. So this kind of answers my question from a couple a couple videos back. I'm always wondering like how are like more people not bumping these people or this dude like how why or how are, aren't more people listening? It's just I don't know a lot of people like the fake shit the fake like catchy jingles and stuff and that's it, not about um, real content and stuff which is unfortunate because this whole goddamn record is full of real content and like life lessons and shit that you probably should be listening to. So it's kind of crazy if you're not. Please check out the allegory. I'll shut up. No tires on my high horse, I'm Django. Likened by white powder, John Stamos. My high horse, I'm Django, ew. I'm Django, likened by white powder, John Stamos. A white powder, Probably John Stamos. Probably the only artist who could father time, John Amos. Rapper God erupting out of a Comic Con Kano. Committing lyrical homicide, why beside Framo? To the downers, I'm Drano. To the genre, I'm Thanos. I'm Drano. Ew. Damn it. I'm going to have to definitely listen to this again. I'm not going to be able to catch all this shit. Hold on, hold on. Drano to the genre, I'm Thanos. Any spitter think he's sicker than that? I have to, to the genre, I'm Thanos. Ew. That means he's the damn God. He's Thanos. Ew. Kidnap you over that little rap you wrote Leave your family taken aback by the handsome quote That I left on that ransom note I ain't one of these dudes who be By the handsome quote I left on that ransom note Ew Dude's got bars, hold on, hold on. On that ransom note I ain't one of these dudes who be computer screen beefing Gorilla nigga killing his Twitter team <laughs> Be computer screen beefing. That's hilarious. People act like so tough. It's just a weird, weird uh, environment these days. I hear a lot of like, I don't know, a lot of people talk shit on the internet. And back in my day, people used to like meet up and like throw hands and shit like that. But people, people get real tough behind their keyboards and stuff. I think that's what he's saying. He's not, he's not about that Twitter beefing and stuff like that. And he said that before. 
which is again another reason why I love Mr. Royce the Five Nine. Gorilla nigga killing his Twitter TL. Verbal abusing females. Bill Maher used the term verbal. So loose. <laughs> verbal abusing females, and they, they act like they're tough guys. That's funny. Yeah, those are tough guys. That's pretty funny. Cause truthfully, he know that he'd be using it on a DL. Louis C.K. know he can use it in Ooh, front damn. of Pookie, but Ooh, damn. He just say, talk about Bill Maher or something, saying the N-word? I don't know. Louis C.K. know he can use it in front of Pookie. Truthfully, he know that he'd be term nigga so loosely. Cause truthfully, he know that he'd be using it on a DL. Louis C.K. know he can... Damn, hold on. I gotta go back. See, this is another, another one. Like, I feel like... And I said this before in my other videos, and I know it's controversial, I'm not supposed to say that, but I feel like some, some uh, African-American people, like, especially, like, I don't know, some rappers, like, especially Royce, I feel like he's a little bit mad at white people or something. And I wish that wasn't the case because I am not on, like, the white team or something like that. Like, I do not give a shit about what color you are or where you're from or... Any of that kind of shit. I never stood for any of that shit with any of my friends or anything like that. And I just wish that these pieces of shit, these racist white pieces of shit, didn't speak for everybody. And I don't give a crap if I'm saying that on camera. Because they suck. And I just wish that they didn't also speak for me. It seems like they do. But I don't know. Anyway. To females, Bill Maher used the term nigga so loosely Cause truthfully he know that he'd be using it on a DL I don't know, see, I, I don't know I, I don't, I never heard about the Bill Maher using it or whatever But that's fucked up, I don't condone it, it, Like anybody that's not, you know You shouldn't be fucking saying that word if you're a white person That's ridiculous, don't be disrespectful and use that word like that's insane. They know he can use it in front of Pookie, but no damn well that he wouldn't use it in front of DL. White kids graduate to relationships, a ton of perks. Black kids just aggravated and had to take a ton of perks. He come to church the first and 21st. And when it come to dirt, Gucci ain't the only ones putting black faces on front of shirts. Black women want to be built like cartoon characters. Eric Cart. Damn, you're saying a lot of real shit here too. Again, I just... I just wish that like white racist pieces of shit didn't speak for me because that's just like an old man's old school mentality slash way of thinking and I hate that shit. I get I get the anger and the pain and everything where that comes from obviously with the shitty history and stuff that we have but uh yeah it just sucks. I guess I feel that I feel like I'm lumped into a category for like no reason with that stuff and it's unfortunate cuz I fucking love this man. I mean yeah, his, his, I like his bars. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. That bears a striking resemblance to Sarah Bartman. Now Google that when you get a chance. You gonna okay. find out America. Google that when you get a chance. All oh, damn. He, see, this stuff that he makes, man, he's making me so mad. I keep looking up shit and I keep like finding out. I'm telling you, the allegory has a bunch of life lessons in here, kitties. You gotta check this out. That bears a striking resemblance to Sarah Bartman. Now Google that when you get it. Ain't the only ones putting black faces on front of shirts. Black women want to be built like cartoon characters. Eric Cartman, that bears a striking resemblance to Sarah Bartman. Eric Cartman, Sarah Bartman. What does that even mean? Actually, why don't we just look that up right now? Why don't we literally just look that up right now? How about that? I can do that, right? It's my video. Eric Cartman. Damn it, if I could actually type Sarah Blartman, is that what you said? Uh, Eric Cartman, Sarah oh, Bartman, B A A R, the Fisking Feminist. Oh, are they gonna talk about what? Was there like a racist South Park episode? Sarah Bartman. Sarah Bartman. What is about the black female body that frequently means that is an object of sex? Unlike blackface, are they... Wait, hold on. I heard there isn't representation of faces, only the body displayed. Um, that was the stage name of Sarah Bartman, an African slave that was repeatedly put on display in London in 1808. That is fucked up. That is so fucked up. But this is like, this is from like 1808 though. Oh, Sarty, Sarty Bartman? 
damn, what are they talking about? And are they saying that they they were making a joke out of something that was really messed up and racist or whatever? I mean, South Park obviously is pretty known for being like having pretty fucked up stuff on their show, but still. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to check this out a little bit more because that sounds not cool. I don't know. Non-normative black female bodies. Are so that's fucked up. So it sounds like they had people on display against their will, like with their naked bodies and stuff like that. Oh, that's fucked up. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. I got. I got. I'm gonna check that out after this video. Now Google that when you get a chance. You should Google it You're too. You gonna find out America's heartless. I already know. I already know America's heartless, dude. You you ever watch the news? I can't even turn on the goddamn news like anymore. I seriously don't even watch it. Remember, the effort has to go into the art, not the wave. Everybody talking about they own their masters, but if the music don't age well, it don't matter. Ew. It's like you own 100% of nothing. 100% of nothing? Know your value. Know your value. Ew, that's dope. He's talking about putting the effort into the art. It's not about being fake or putting on this persona or image or something like that. It's got to go into the real, the real shit. What you coming, nigga? Yeah. Damn. All them times you gave him your best, got you complicated, your stress. Cash rules, your last move, got him Butcher coming, son. Ew, I'm really starting to like these cats in Griselda, by the way. If you haven't uh, checked them out, please do check out Griselda. They're dope. I'm going to have more videos, um, reactions coming to this shit, too. Cash rules, your last move, got him contemplating your next. I'm the one behind the wheel when the conversations go left. I need violence. She wireless. I'm okay with a tech. What's the difference from a nigga who lived it and storytellers? Of course we fell in. So the Rick White and Tory Ew. spelling. Ew, so he said that, what did he say? There's a difference between people who lived it and just storytellers, people who just talk and shit. Ew. And that's, I think, that's, I think, the difference. That's how you can tell the real ones and the fake ones. You can tell when people are just, like, saying shit and then, or when people, like, actually lived it, like, like these cats, you know? So, I don't know. It's dope. It's Conversations dope. go left. I need violence. She wireless. I'm okay with a tech. What's the difference from a nigga who lived it and storytellers? Of course we fell in. So the brick wider than Tory spelling. We were killers. Nobody on my block was poured in us. So the brick wider than Tory spelling. <laughs> She, she a loose woman? Is that what he's referring to? Of course we fell in. So the brick wider than Tory spelling. Will we kill us? Nobody yo. Oh, wider. I thought, I thought he said wider. Wider or wider? That's pretty funny. I guess white, wider, because it's like Coke, right? I'm starting to think Griselda made some of their money by. Never mind, I'm not even going <laughs> Put a fork in a pot and got a euphoric feeling. Uh, young heathens clap tools of a beat. Fork in a pot and got a euphoric feeling? What is he talking about? Cooking it up? Not that I know what he's... I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Poured in us. I put a fork in a pot and got a euphoric feeling. Uh, young heathens clap tools of a VBS Jews. White kids put heaters at school on the CBS News. Became a legend for the skeptics who ain't believe me that dude. And for mornings, I never ate unless they feed me at school. Uh-huh, sir. Damn, was he talking about school shootings and stuff like that, too? And damn, he didn't eat in the mornings unless you fit, feed me at school. Damn, I feel that one. I feel that one. School, uh-huh, serving out pots. Had me turning out blocks. It's Griselda, nigga. You know we the firm without Fox. Everything about timing, and I was stern on my clock. Those niggas out now grinding, trying to earn what I got. Uh, stick to the strip, my uh, advantage. He's going to earn what he's got. Ew. Yo, this is pretty dope. He's got bars, Benny. Benny's got bars. Now I'm now I'm excited to check out some more of Zelda. Grinding, trying to earn what I got. Uh, stick to the strip, my advantage was hustle. So I'm saying off the muscle. I'm here in careers I could cancel a couple. The shooter crossed the line. He is about to cancel a couple. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Rubber bands and a duffel with both hands full. I ain't panic, I juggle. I'm very confident. Y'all barely popping it. Huh. Y'all niggas treat A project shake like K Washington. Chill back, stab in the hell. I took A consequence. The yard big enough at the crib to bury hostages. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Is uh he about to get the communion money? Or I don't even know what the, the church money stolen? He's about to get the church money stolen? Damn. Hostages. 
Wait, was that the end of the song? Oh, to be continued. Damn it, we are gonna emanci wait, we are going to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery because whilst others might be free uh, the body, none but ourselves can free the mind. Whilst others might free the body, none but ourselves can free the mind. Marcus Gravy. Ew, that's pretty dope. We are going to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. Ew, because whilst others might be free, or might free the body, none but ourselves can free the mind. That is a dope ass quote. Holy shit. As usual, the allegory has some freaking life lessons and some dope ass bars to check out. Wow, guys. Um, this is sick. I think I'm going to keep going with this record because I just think that there's a lot of important shit to uh, talk about in this. And I know it's a little bit controversial. Maybe people don't usually talk about that stuff, but I would like to. Let's start a conversation. Let's be internet friends. We don't got to fight about it. We can be cool. If you're new here again, please subscribe if you're liking the content. I got daily videos. And uh, I guess I'll just see you next time on another Natural Reaction.